All right, Rob, uh, let's go back to these NBA finals. Luka Doncic, who uh, I think everybody understands and recognizes as the best player in the finals. And, uh, Rob, he, you know, his final numbers, 29 points, nine rebounds, five and a half assists, and a, a series high, even though we know he's not a great defender, two and a half steals. Uh, per game in this series shot 47 percent Rob in a series where players did not shoot well on either team uh so I think the 47 percent I think was second highest among like starters or at least key players Drew Holiday shot 53 percent um but it, it was up there among the guys that played regularly uh Porzingis was 58 percent but you know we know he didn't play a ton but anyway, um, I thought Rob Luca played fine. Um, he obviously could have done some things better. He didn't shoot well from the free throw line. He's not a great foul shooter, but he's certainly better than a fifty nine percent, which is what he shot in the finals. He only shot yeah, twenty four. That was terrible. That's, that's just, bad. That's just I mean, bad. he shot seventy, like a seventy, basically a seventy five percent foul shooter for his career. Um, he only shot twenty four percent from three. Uh, again, a lot of guys struggled from long range. Jalen Brown, the MVP, shot 24% from three. But I think, Rob, the finals, and I said this, I believe, before, it's like a mirror. And it holds up to you what you need to work on, what you need to improve on, if you want to get to that next level, right? And uh, I, it's done that with LeBron. His first finals, he really struggled against San Antonio. It showed him, okay, you got to work on that jump shot. They giving you the J. Uh, the second finals, obviously against Dallas. I mean, he just that was just kind of he melted down. But he had to figure out how I can get over, you know, something like that. And obviously, he he went to the drawing board and they won it the next year. And he's he's been better in that regards ever since. Remember, that's when Rob after that that he started that whole was it zero dark twenty three or whatever it was called, where yep. he tuned out the media. And all of that social media during the playoffs. And that's what he needed to do to get to where he wanted to go. Michael Jordan never lost in the finals. But in the playoffs, Rob, with the bad boys in Detroit, they he was like, I got to get stronger. They're beating me up. They're physical. And I've got to get stronger. So he started hitting the weights. And so that's what happens with the great players when they get to the finals. And, and oftentimes – their first or second time there can can be, you know, a, a struggle. And and I don't know that it was a struggle for Luca. Obviously, he played fine individually. But I do think some things, Rob, he's got to work. He's one, just stop complaining to the ref so much. Yeah. It's just right? it's just it's just too much. It's right. I, I get it, Chris. You're a star. You want to get some, you know, get you want to get calls. You don't want to be beat up and you want right. some respect. And I I get that. But every single call, it's, it's just too it's much. too much. It's, it's just way too much. Overboard. It's way over. It's to the point where it it can be a de, it can deflate his teammates to some degree. I mean, especially Rob when he's complaining or on the floor looking for a call with his hands up in the air, like what? And they're playing five and, on right, four, right? So that's something he's definitely got to improve on. And him just giving forth the effort will lead his teammates to give forth more effort. Secondly, Rob, uh, like I said, the effort on defense. The complaining is number one. Then just more effort. We don't expect you to be Dennis Rodman on defense. But you just need to talk. You need to be in the right place. You need to communicate better. And you need to put forth the effort to be in the right place at the right time. And he's also shown he can stay in front of some guys when he wants to. And then thirdly, Rob, I look, his style is his style. He's been he did does it in Slovenia where he dominates the rock. But no one's really been able to win that way. James Harden obviously hasn't, but Jordan, you know, won when the triangle came to Chicago and he started sharing the ball a little more. LeBron uh didn't really win. Um you know, just overly dominant like he was in his first go round in Cleveland. He still remains somewhat ball dominant, and Luca will too. And there are other players that are like that. But there's a, a threshold, I guess, that you need you shouldn't cross. 
And Luka Rob has the highest usage rate in, in NBA history. He's over 35, he's near 36% usage rate. Jordan second with 33, and Jordan didn't over dribble. He shot a lot. He shot a ton, but he didn't over dribble. And so I think, Rob, their run through the playoffs, a lot of it was Luka not being his ball dominant. It went His usage rate went down to 31%, which was a big drop for him. But in the finals, it went back up to 30, almost 39%, Rob, And when we saw what happened. Now, maybe some of that was that Kyrie wasn't really giving him any help. And he felt like, you know what, I got to do it on my own. But they're going to have to just make sure that they get a little more ball movement, get more guys touching the rock consistently, and I think that'll help Luka out. And I, I do expect him to win a, a championship, if not, and to some degree, I expect championships. I think he's that good. He's only 25. But these are the things he's going to have to really take stock of and, and improve on. No doubt. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know if he's going to make some some big changes. He's a particular player that plays a certain way, Chris, and I just don't know. I mean, I I know, uh, you know, you want to win or whatever, and I'm not convinced he's going to come back doing some different stuff or tweak some stuff to change who he is because he's a dominant player. Um, he's not a defender. He's a little out of shape. You know, like, I just I mean, don't – I don't expect – better shape, too. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't expect him to come back felt. You know what I mean? Where he's, This year he had lost a little weight. Yeah, but he still just doesn't look like – Yeah, not, but, bro, it's like what he needs to do, and I, he obviously wants to be great. Look at Kobe. Look at Jordan. Look at LeBron. They were two-way players. And again, even Steph. Steph's not a great two-way player. But he does put forth effort, and he's in the right place, and he takes charges, and so on and so forth. So if Rob, he's got to look at it like, if I want to win, this is what I need to do. No, I, I, I hear you, but I don't think everybody is willing to make the necessary changes. And I, and I won't believe it from Luca, Chris, until I see it. In terms I, of what? Like, I don't expect like, them to run an, an equal opportunity offense necessarily. That's what I'm saying. And like, I'm, like, I'm not even talking as much I know, about that. I know, I know you're talking about some other stuff. Yeah. Obviously, he's got to make free throws. Obviously, he can't let have the highest blow-by rate. Like, you got, you just you got to. And that's, what I'm, that's effort. I, I agree. Some people are going to blow by him for sure. No, I, I, I'm not saying he's going to be a defensive stalwart. <laughs> right. I don't, I'm not expecting that. I'm just not – I'd have to see he's so good. How many times do you talk about uh, first team All-NBA? What, four times? Five, five times. Five times. Like, in like six years. I mean, it's that, That's incredible. what I'm saying, Chris. And then somebody's telling him, oh, oh yeah, you got to change. You got to do something. You got to do some other stuff. Well, really? I'm, I just made first team five years – five out of six years in the NBA? That's the but part see, I'm talking about. I think he's at the point, Rob – where obviously everybody acknowledges him as a great player. And I do think that early in your career, there's that honeymoon phase where, you know, it's, it, I don't even know if honeymoon phase is the right thing, but, you know, you, it's about you establishing yourself as a star. You're young. We don't necessarily expect you to win, but, you know, establish yourself as a star. He's done that. And then after a while, at you, okay, you're a superstar. If you don't win, then people start to, you know, not quite give you as much love. It's like, oh, he's he, we saw it with Michael Jordan. I mean, yeah, sure, he can lead the league in scoring and, and have all these spectacular dunks, but can he win? It's going it'll it's going to happen, Rob. And and that a lot of times is what drives players to be like, man, I gotta get the ring and improve. When they start getting that little bit of criticism, oh, man, I'm putting up 30 and 10. What are y'all talking about? Well, you you don't win. So-and-so is the one winning. His numbers aren't quite what yours are, but he winning. Right. You know, like, in that, that competitive nature, I think, does lead these other guys, you know, some... I, I'll tell, I'm not going to name the player. But 
there's a player who ended up winning the championship. He was a great player. And I was told at one of the All-Star weekends, you know, Rob, they used to have all these events, pool, mm-hmm. every, you know, all types of stuff where you in- interact with the players. And that someone told me, another reporter, that they heard this guy, he was, you know, it was a, some players playing and they talking about stuff in the league. And he like, man, I don't, this one player who's an All-Star, man, I don't care about I don't need no ring, man. I'm a son of such and such a time all-star, all-NBA, man. I'm max money. You know, like he's talking about all that, the individual stuff. Mm -hmm. But lo and behold, a little bit later in his career, the criticism, you put up numbers, but you ain't winning. Your team not even a factor. And then he started, you know, changing his ways a little bit, and it became important. So I don't think Luca's like that. But I do think, Rob, that I think he is a legitimately competitive guy that wants to be great. Like, I think he wants to be an all-time great and, like, like ultra, ultra elite great. And to do that, he's going to have to make some change. Not a ton of changes. He's awesome. But he's going to have to do a few different things to win championships. 